Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play on Fallen Farm. So, we'll continue this episode where the last one finished. Feeling a little bit ill today, so sorry if I sound quite groggy. Episode 7 already in this. It's going quite fast. Might throw in another map in the mix, just so we're not moving too fast on maps and end up getting bored of them or anything as such. Between the last episode and this one, I did some stacking of uh, the straw bales in the uh, cow, cow yard. Sorted them all out, sold the other bales that was in the, over by the grain sheds, sold them. Hence why we got a bit more money. Only a few thousand, but have a little help. Try and get this field done today, and uh, maybe start the tethering as well. Slide it up. But I did notice that whilst I was stacking, that uh, all the fields have now gone onto their first growth level. So there is actually some spraying or spreading, depending on what we tend to do. I don't know whether to sp spray it or put the fertiliser on it. Either way it's going to be done, one or the other. But I think I might wait until the second growth level for doing that. <coughs> there will be a lot of whole crop. A lot of whole crop coming off of that. And I'm undecided whether to use it for the cows or whether to take it to the BGA and make a bit of money off of it. And I could tip it at the cows, silage it, take take some of it out and put it into uh, the BGA anyway, so might end up doing that. You have to get the conveyor belt. So that's possible. Well, it just makes it easier anyway. And then we'll go around once more. Go as plenty of room to turn around in the headlands. Uh, I think I will be uh, working on Willow Tree Farm after I've recorded this episode. Try and get that somewhere like it, put the traffic spines on, and things like that and such. There's still a lot of work to be done on the map, even though it's small. It will probably be the same requirements as this map. Even though it's small, it will probably require medium to uh, high computers to run it. I will try and optimise it as much for you uh, laptop players out there. But my advice to anyone that plays this game, try your best to save up for a gaming PC. At least a half decent one. It makes it a lot easier on map makers not getting complaints about the map not running, frame drops and all stuff like that. Plus you're losing it, you Losing a lot of graphics and that running off a laptop, I'd say, unless you've bought a massive gaming laptop, it's cost 
a fair few thousand. I understand it's hard to uh, get money for such things there. I was lucky with mine that I, the job I was previously in, I managed to get Christmas tips and I built my PC out of that. It's a uh, quad core AMD. Runs about 4 gigahertz. And uh, I've got a GTX 750Ti currently in it. With I want to upgrade to a 950 just to get a little bit better graphics again. Um, 16 gig HyperX RAM in it. It's got a lot of fans in the case. Cooling is very important. I've got a H Corsair H70 water cooling pump on the uh, processor. Works very well. Push pull system for the uh, radiator on it. Got a front control panel, SD card slots, and fan speed controllers. Well, I've managed to build that myself. It's a lot cheaper than buying a prefabricated gaming PC. I was probably looking at about 800, 900 quid for a PC ready built in the spec I've got, which I managed to build myself for about 500, 550, somewhere around there. <coughs> so you do save a lot of money if you uh, know what you're doing when it comes to building it. It is easy, it's not hard. Everything just slots into another. The biggest pain I'd say is probably setting up the uh, BIOS on your initial startup. But even that's quite easy. Most motherboards come with a manual and tell you your optimum settings, so it's not too hard. For recording, I use uh, Shadowplay. You know, if you've got a GTX graphics card, it comes free with it. You go into your control panel and you've got um, Shadowplay as an option. It records it in, it can, depends what you're doing, if running farm sim recording it, it tends to do about 11 minute segments, and they're about 3.6 gig each. But if you're not doing anything, uh, the other day I forgot to turn it off and it was just sat on the, uh, in my desktop screen. That doesn't take too much, it recorded 52 minutes before I rec remembered, and that was all in one video. Obviously a game does take a lot of graphics running, so just be prepared to uh, use up a lot of your storage space. Well, I think a lot of them do in that. It gives really good quality. It really does. And it comes free. You don't have to spend that on fraps or any of that. So I'd recommend that. I'd like to thank Bullet Bill for pointing me in the direction of uh, shadow play, and then I just use uh, Windows Movie Maker to edit my videos. I like to uh, get a different program at some point. I think once I've uh, I've actually got uh, what is it? Sony Movie Studio Premium. I did buy that. I haven't had much time to mess around on it, so I don't really know how to use that right now. <coughs> Trying to get a couple episodes recorded whilst I've got this break here. Uh, so I'm not too sure when I'll be able to record next. So this one and probably number 8 will be recorded one after another and then you might see a gap it depends 
There may be a feral gap to the next one. Which is unfortunate because I like doing this, but work comes first, real life comes first. Is this field nearly done already? I feel like we've done this field really fast. <coughs> Woke up yesterday morning and felt like a train had hit me, feeling absolutely terrible. But I thought, once time not working today, I would uh, get this uh, episode recorded. <laughs> Gotta keep my viewers happy. A lot of people seem very happy with the Let's Play so far. I'm very happy about that. Never really thought I'd see myself in doing one of these, but I'm enjoying it. But as you can see, it's in the first growth stage here. Field 13. So we'll probably wait until the second growth stage, and then we'll uh, we will. Put some fertiliser on there. And that field as well. <coughs> and the rye at the back of the uh, cows here. That's all ready. Well, growing. Uh, should have gone in the other way. Never mind. Now I think the mowers, I did have them in front of the ring row, but we're going to need that in a bit. So, they can go here. As you can see all the bales are gone. All sold off. tractor won't be used for a little while here. Fully. A good little bit actually. I'm just going to store it here. It's out of the way then. <coughs> that tractor could do with a wash. It's a little bit dirty. Got the JD there, ready to go Tedden. There's the Rye. I'll just show you in this yard now, it's all tidied up a bit. And this was the maximum amount of bells I could get away with before frame drops started happening. So, uh, it's not the biggest of stacks, but it would definitely keep us going for a while. And we've still got some straw up at the beef farm that I put up there. Now, this strip here is where I had a problem with the uh, cedar, hence why it's uh, different. But when it comes to whole crop, it won't actually matter. So that should be fine. Now, <coughs> how much slurry have we got here going on? It's getting there. It's slowly going up. Now I need someone to answer me a question as this is first time I played this map I didn't play around on it before doing the let's play 
does the manure automatically come into here? Or do you have to muck the cows out on this? That would be uh, interesting to know. I'll take a look around in there, but... I don't see any there at the minute, so... I don't really know. Just got a couple of attachments here out of the way. So, let's... Uh, We'll take this tractor down to the sheep field first. We haven't actually used the JD that much, the 6210R. When you've seen it working in the fields, in the first couple of episodes I was carting grain with it. But other than that, we haven't really... Uh, worked with it properly. Just did a few edits on this tractor, widened the tyres a little bit, put the aerials on, strobes on the uh, front there, <coughs> number plates, and the sound is courtesy of Dozer FS, I think he has a Facebook page, and that he released a uh, Puma edit with the sound, the sound effects on it, and I thought it would sound good on this trader. Huh? Let's make it sound like it's got a bit of uh, beef around it about it. So, um, I'm not sure when I'll get around to streaming any Willow Tree Farm. Finding time for that is a bit of a questionable thing right now. So, hopefully I will be able to do it. I'd like to do it. Well, I may end up throwing up a couple of Let's Plays on it. That might be the map, just to break this series up a little bit. And I'll get it to a stage where I don't need to reset the map after changes, so it'll just be scripting and stuff like that. So I won't have to start from scratch on stuff. It's going to take a while. I'm sure you can tether faster than this. I did uh, edit a new 936 yesterday. I got a Black Beauty version of that. I don't want too big fence in the game. Not really much point in having two similar, very similar models in the game. Made by CMT, I think it was. The only downfall to his model on that is he doesn't have uh, IC on it. Which is a shame, because it's a brilliant model. I see would really set that model off. So it is a shame. This is going to take a while.
after this field's done, I think I'm going to get some sheep once it's all bailed, taking the bales out of it and everything. I probably will get some sheep in here. So, and then more sheep, cows, we've already got the chickens as well. The only thing we don't have is beef right now. And, uh, just check. Yeah, it's like, what, a few more cows? There we go, 50. Got one ready to go by the look of it. Yeah, we got a few things coming out of that. So, that should be ideal. <coughs> Plenty of slurry, that's what you want. So, we're pending after money after all this. I may look into buying a, uh, another field, but one that's already got grain and canola, something like that. That's already grown, ready to go. Because then we just slam the uh, combine in there and it's pretty much all profit. Sell the bales off, sell the grain off. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me in another episode. I'll finish this field off camera, I think. And I shall uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.